this video, we will learn about geoprocessing tools. In ArcGIS Pro, we use geoprocessing tools to perform special analysis and to manage our GIS data. Now let's go to ArcGIS Pro to see a demo. I already have an ArcGIS Pro project open. You can find all the geoprocessing tools by going to analysis ribbon tab and clicking on tools. That opens up a geoprocessing window on the right and all the tools are listed here. The easiest way to look for a tool is by typing its name in the search box. In this demo, what we will do is we will navigate to University of Alaska Fairbanks campus and use a tool to create a bunch of random points within a polygon. So let's click on the map tab and then use the locate tool to navigate to University of Alaska Fairbanks. We will use a different base map. So I'm selecting imaginary base map for this demo. And we will move a little bit to the left. So here is a field that was cleared for agricultural experimentation. I have already created a polygon outline outlining this plot and we will use this polygon to create random points within it. So let me open that polygon. I'll go to catalog and then inside my project, inside my file database, I have a plantation polygon feature class I'll just drag and drop it here you go and then I want to change the symbology so I click on the symbol here the symbology window opens I want to no color for the filling and for outline I will use red with a two-point thickness line thickness this is it and now we will use a tool called create random points to drop a bunch of random points within this polygon. So to look for the tool, we can go to the geoprocessing window, which is already open here. Or if it is not open already, then you can go to analysis and click on tools to open the geoprocessing window. And I will type create random points. As soon as I finish typing, the tool actually is listed at the top one left click to open the tool window and in the tool window red asterisk means that input is required so in this case i do need to provide an output point feature class name so let's call it i will name it uh, random points since uh, we want our points within this polygon for the constraining feature class i will use plantation polygon so all the points will be within this polygon only and we tell how many points we want here uh, we want 50 points so that's about it and at the bottom we see the run button so I'm gonna hit that button to run the tool when the tool finishes the progress bar will display completed so as you can see here when the tool has finished running the output layer will be added to the active map by default so now in the contents window you can see that I have a new layer called random points and that has 50 random points so this is how you look for a tool and run it now let's run one more tool this time i want to create a buffer circle around my random points so i will use buffer tool for that so i will in the geoprocessing window i'm going to use the back button to go back and in the search box i will type buffer the buffer tool is showing up at the top left click to open the tool now for this Tool, there are three required parameters one is the input file 
For this tool, I want to create buffer around my random point. So input file will be random points, which I could access using this uh, triangle here. The program actually added an output file name by on its own. So I'm fine with that. If you want to change that, you can also change, just click there in the box and then type in the name that we want. I'll say buffer 5M. For the distance, I will use five meter. So five and the, for the unit, I will pick meters. That's, that's all the required input to run the tool. Now I'm gonna click on run to run the tool. So the tool is completed. The tool completed running. And now I have a new polygon layer in my map, on my map. And this polygon layer stores buffer circle around my random points. So this is how you will look for a geoprocessing tool and run it. Thank you for watching.